everyone, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Today, before heading over to the Gold Ground Execution Site, I want to do some ability grinding, now that we have permanent control of Agrias and the Stadio, so we'll be in very good shape with them. These upcoming battles, and pretty much at this point in the game, the difficulty starts kicking it up a notch, so it'd be a very good idea to do that. You don't have to. I mean, I can get away without it, but why bother making things harder on myself? And I've had enough of Stasis Sword. I want to learn better abilities for Agrias. Pretty much, uh, the abilities that I want to learn, it's pretty much going to revolve around Agrias. Once she's done, then I'm going to move on, regardless of where everyone else is, because they'll have learned everything that I care about anyway. Does it always rain here? I think, like, every battle I've fought here, it's been raining. So, but anyway, there's one more random battle theme here that I wanted to show off, and this will pretty much be the majority of the grinding that I'm going to do for the remainder of the game. I don't think there's going to be anything else that I'm going to worry about after this, so, or at least not much, if at all. So, I mean, I might do a little more, but that's not until way later in the game. This will take care of us for quite some time. And mostly, I just want to get Agrias and Mistadio up to speed, since now they're both permanent party members. So, there we go. First things first, I want to take out that Mind Flare. Because uh, they have some annoying attacks, like Confuse or Berserk or whatever. Uh, sometimes you might run into a Black Chocobo or a Red Chocobo here. You might want to take those guys out first. But other than that, we're in pretty good shape here. So, pretty much what I want to do with my characters. Uh, Ramza is a Samurai now. Yeah, I want to use Bolt on that Mind Flare there. But yeah, Ramza is a Samurai now. The reason why I like him as a Samurai is because... Well, let me put it this way. Men tend to have better physical attack growth. Women tend to have better magic attack growth. Ramza, because he, he's the androgynous hero, gets to have the best of both worlds. So he gets both high physical and magical attack growth. And the thing is, is that on the way to unlocking Samurai, you have to go through all these physical classes. And once you get to Samurai, you want to have the high magic stats. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why don't you just make him into a wizard then with uh, Draw Out as your secondary skill? Because then you'd have the highest base magic attack. And, well, the reason I'm, I'm not going to do that is because I like Ramza's Guts ability better as a secondary ability than, or as a primary ability, than Black Magic, because later in the game I don't think it's really going to be as useful. So that's it. That's pretty much it for Ramza. Eventually I'll get Magic Attack up as his support ability, but uh, that's pretty much it for him. I also want to learn Blade Grasp for him eventually, but I'm not going to learn that for everybody. No, no don't worry about that. I'm not going to go that far. Let's see, for Krona, I've got him as a Lancer right now to learn Ignore Height. So pretty much I'm going to have Krona and Ramza with Ignore Height and Taku and Otaku with Teleport. So that's going to really help us out for the next couple battles, actually. And then once I'm done with Lancer, I'm going to learn some other things. Uh, I want to work on Thief to learn some stealing abilities. Just because I've got nothing better to do while I'm developing Agrias into the classes that I'm going to be using her for. Let's see, Taku I'm not going to be using for grinding because I've pretty much learned everything I want for her. I've gotten all the curative spells that I really care about. I mean, I might learn Cure 3 or Cure 4 eventually, but they're pretty slow. So, I uh, and I've learned all the crowd control that I care for Oracle. Uh, I don't really care for Mediator that much. I mean, if there's anything you think that might be useful for that or for Taku in general, l let me know. But, you know, because I've got some Proposition JP I could put to use, but really I've pretty much learned everything that I care about. Let's see, for Otaku there, I'm working on Time Mage to learn Short Charge, which will be really useful for Summons, because Summons are pretty slow to cast, but if you've got Short Charge, that'll let you cast them a lot faster. So that'll be pretty nice. 
and then pretty much for Agrias, my long-term plan is basically to learn all of those uh, holy sword, well, not all of them, but the ones that I care about. I'll list everything in the video description, but essentially I want to learn those holy sword attacks, and then I want to make her into a geomancer. The nice thing about that class for her is not even so much the elemental ability that you get, although it is kind of nice, I guess. But you have a very good equipment draw because not only can you use swords, which you need for Holy Sword to work, but you also get... Well, oh, good, that worked. Uh, you also get equipment that can boost your attack power, like headgear and some other things you can get later on in the game. Which, uh, as a Holy Knight, Agrias can't get access to. So she needs all the help she can get on her physical attack stat. Let's see, I just want to check how we're doing here. Not quite enough yet. I want to try and get move plus one for both of them, if I can. I'll see what I can do. I mean, it's just a quick thing, just to boost their, man or boost their movement stat a little bit. I'm not really going to go hardcore into them for their movement skills or reaction skills. The problem is that you can't use unique guests that permanently join your party. You can't use them in proposition, so that, that won't work. You have to actually grind them out, unfortunately. So anyway, yeah, I want her to be a Geomancer. I'll learn some other abilities like Attack Up and some of the elemental skills, but really that's, you know, mostly secondary. If I can learn them, great. If not, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I do want to make her into a knight to learn weapon guard for her reaction ability. And then that'll unlock monk, and then I'll get that up to level 3 to unlock geomancer. Uh, the unlocking requirements are probably different in the PSP version, so well, look them up on GameFAQs. I, I don't know. I, ne I never played that far. Now for Mistadio, the obvious choice is to make him into a chemist, right? Because that way he can do some healing, He'll have the, uh, the sniping abilities. Chemists can equip guns, so that's pretty nice. I've heard some other people like making him into a knight, because then you could learn the brake skills and then make him back into an engineer, and then snipe enemies' equipment from afar, which I suppose could be useful, except for the fact that the knight breaking abilities have no accuracy, so I don't like using that. Some people have suggested also using uh, ninjas with the equipment breaking abilities, but again, eh, I don't really care for that, because I, even though you'll use the ability twice now, it still, it just doesn't have the accuracy for, and it takes, it would take forever to do that, so, I mean, we're getting to the point in the game now where we're getting so powerful that why bother using debilitating effects or debuffs when you can just kill them outright? Unless it's like a boss or something like that, for the most part. So, almost there. Gotta draw out the battle a little more for Agrius. So, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be using Taku as much as I have before. Uh, Mistadio is pretty much gonna be my replacement for her. And I'm getting rid of Boko because I'm never going to uh, use him again. I've pretty much got all the party members that I really need now. So, that's pretty much... This is pretty much going to be my party for the remainder of the game. I mean, Rams is going to be an, a samurai. And Igrias is going to be a geomancer. Stadio is going to be a chemist. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have my priest and wizard with other secondary abilities. I'll swap in. Time magic or summon magic, depending on the battle, how I think it'll be useful. And Krona is going to be a ninja monk. So I, I think that's a pretty good way to go. Some people have suggested using concentrate on a ninja, so that way you have guaranteed accuracy. But I have another way of dealing with that. So that way we can use martial arts on my ninja and punch art, which is a pretty good secondary ability, because otherwise... I don't know. What do you think? Do you think there's another good secondary ability for a ninja? I mean, accumulate from basic skill is kind of nice, but eh, I tried that and it just wasn't as useful as punch out. I think it, I, I love the versatility over the raw power of having accumulate. So 
Now, let me know what you think about what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm pretty much going to have to stick to it based on what I've done, but if there's something, you know, extraneous you want me to try and do, maybe with some propositions, particularly on the mages, because I'm going to have the extra JP to work on them. So uh, let me know what you think, and I'm going to finish all the ability grinding that I have listed in the video description, and then we'll go to Golgoron Execution Site to rescue Princess Avelia. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!